A brand new school is opening for students today in the Washington County School District. This school offers a different path for many kids, focusing on job skills in its curriculum. It's giving the tools they need in many cases to go right into the job force when they graduate high school. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay went to St. George to check it out. It's a lot, like a lot of emotions. Percy Kelsch made what she says was a tough decision to choose a brand new school for her senior year. After learning about the culinary pathway here and how it centers and focuses on like trying to prepare you for your career and for your life. I just like I knew I had to come, you know. She'd like so, to open her own bakery one day. She says the specific instruction and the school's brand new industrial sized kitchens seen here in these pictures on their website when they were still under construction were a part of the appeal for her. It was really like not something you can really resist. So I'm really excited to see what it holds. We are looking forward to those seniors coming in and helping to build the tradition and the culture of what this school is going to be. Brad Bench is assistant principal at the brand new Washington County School District Career and Technical High School, located just a stone's throw from the Utah-Arizona border in St. George. We're going to try a new approach. Modeled after a school in Houston and similar to others in Las Vegas, created with collaboration here thanks to the Washington School District with help from Dixie Tech and Utah Tech Universities. It's been an exciting thing for us to see the support they've given us. Years in the making, this school, Career Tech, opens August 15th, welcoming a student body of some 550 students who not only will take general classes, but also get to pick a pathway. Eight different ones are offered now. Administrators say they'll offer even more as the school continues to grow. When the opportunity came to come to Career and Technology High School, I just couldn't pass it up. Ryan Rarick is one of the majority of teachers who transferred here from within the district. He spent years at Snow Canyon High where he was teaching English and helping other educators improve their skills. When I saw that there was going to be a career pathway for teaching as a profession, uh, it was the best of both worlds. I get to work with students still, but I get to help them become teachers. And it's something I'm really passionate about is to motivate kids to choose teaching as a profession and to change the world. This is the nicest school I've ever been in. It's nicer than colleges I've been to. Calvin Trout is an incoming freshman. He heard about the new school and was intrigued by the pathways. I looked into it more and found out that they had an engineering and robotics pathway which I've always had a passion about that kind of stuff, like, you know, figuring out how things work. Saying his whole family is excited with younger siblings who may follow his lead. No, I think my little brother might be considering coming too when he's old enough. It's just an amazing opportunity. We're so lucky to have it here. Construction started on this campus in 2019. Putting the finishing touches on when we visited this past month, getting ready for what they hope will be just the beginning of a lasting institution for this area. We're going to learn some really cool things here. Be excited. It's going to be great. I think it'll be really powerful in a few years to be hiring the students that I taught to be my colleagues. Pretty cool. Yeah. We are excited to meet the kids. Reporting in St. George, Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.